I probably came into the area of eating disorders and disordered eating through having had an experience of disordered eating as a teenager and gaining a sense of an understanding of how much brain space and time and energy it takes up and how much smaller it can make your life. When someone first starts seeking support for their relationship with food, this might be the first time that they've actually spoken about a lot of these things that they've been experiencing about their behaviours and their thought patterns around food and their bodies. And so it can take time to build that trust. When I first start working with someone with an eating disorder and I'm wanting to meet them where they're at, but I also want to get a real sense of where they would like to go with recovery and what they value in life outside of food and their eating disorder, because that gives me a really key understanding of their drivers for recovery. There is evidence and there are guidelines to show that dietitians are a valuable part of the multidisciplinary team in the treatment of eating disorders. And this is backed up by plenty of anecdotal evidence to show that clients really value dietetic input. When I'm working with individuals on recovery, I often talk to them about the idea that recovery isn't one big light bulb moment that happens all at once. It's often much more like a string of fairy lights where the individual little lights might be coming on at different moments. And so I'm often looking out for those little moments where the light has come on. It can be so rewarding to work with each of those individuals towards their recovery in whatever fashion that looks for them.